ages meant to catch geese and ducks next to Enchanted Lake, all of them to be killed later, were slated for removal today as Kamehameha Schools promises to work with the community on other solutions. Jen Boniza follows up. Jen? Joe, the plan to kill the beloved birds had neighbors and residents crying foul. The most vocal advocate for their protection, a woman who's been caring for the geese for over a decade. Jan Cook has been looking after the birds next to Enchanted Lakes for over 10 years. So when an exterminator showed up with a trap and orders to eliminate them, she was appalled. She turned to social media to get the word out. Hundreds have responded in favor of saving them. I reached out to Kamehameha Schools, the landowner, to get some answers. They say they're willing to work with the community on this and are willing to give this process as much time as it needs. Jan plans to meet with them next week. We want the whole community to get together and decide what's best for them. If it means relocating them at some point, we're not opposed to that. But it would have to be a place as good or better. Mm -hmm. Not a pen in a petting zoo. If you let them loose, a dog could kill them. They don't have any street smarts. They're pets. These geese are not the property of Bishop Estate to dispose of. These geese are living creatures. They're hurting no one. Dan tells me the geese aren't aggressive and they aren't harming the native birds that thrive on Enchanted Lake. I contacted DLNR to find out what laws govern the removal or extermination of ducks and geese. They say state and federal agencies must be consulted before any attempt to remove nuisance waterfowl. DLNR wants to protect water birds and endangered species, but they also do not want to prevent landowners from managing nuisance species. Joe?